uh, Al-Dhahabi also mentions that uh, when it was time for Ramadan and people are fasting, uh, there will be two adhans that will be given uh, at night before Fajr. The first adhan would be like a warning. It's almost Fajr. And the second adhan would be it's Fajr. The first adhan would be given by Bilal. Will be given by Bilal radiallahu anhu to let people know that Fajr is approaching. Quickly finish up your suhoor. The second adhan was given by Abdullah bin Ummi Maktoum. That would signify it is now Fajr. Stop eating. The interesting thing here to note is Abdullah was unable to see. He was blind, and the only way you could tell if it's Fajr is by looking at the at the sky, looking at if the sun has risen or not. Yet the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi appointed Abdullah bin Ibn, Ibn Umm Maktoum for this task, for the task of being the Mu'addin and accommodated for him by making sure there was someone with him. And that someone would look at the sky and would tell him, Asbahta, Asbahta, now it's morning, give Adhan. And then Abdullah would get up and give Adhan. From this we learn, brothers and sisters, that the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not only respected Abdullah, not only did he elevate him, but Abdullah's disability that he had was accommodated for. He was made to feel welcome. He was given an important task because he deserved it. And his, the disability did not hold him back. This for us is the sunnah. This is what, when on this day of International Day of, uh, for the persons with disabilities, this is what we should remember from our tradition, from the sunnah of our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he would go out of his way to accommodate for someone like Abdullah and to make sure that Abdullah could fulfill his potential as the Mu'addin, as the one who would be uh, in charge of Medina after the Prophet had, let, uh, had, had left. This is the, uh, the, the, the legacy that he وسلم, instilled and it's something for us to think about, something for us to be proud of and something for us to represent.